Imagine this. Two friends, John and Kate, decide to start a business together. They share a vision, they're excited, and they trust each other implicitly. So they shake hands, agreeing verbally on their roles, responsibilities, and the split of profits. Fast forward a few months, their business takes off. But then, disagreements arise. John claims he should get a larger share of the profits because he's putting in more hours. Kate disagrees, arguing she brought in the most significant client. The trust that once bound them together starts to erode. They argue, the relationship sours, and the business suffers. All because they trusted a verbal agreement instead of putting it in writing. Now consider a different scenario. Meet Emily and Alex, two college friends who also decided to launch a startup. Like John and Kate, they were excited and shared a vision. But they also understood the potential pitfalls of verbal agreements. They decided to put everything in writing, detailing their roles, responsibilities, and profit splits. They even included clauses for possible scenarios they might encounter in the future. A few months in, their startup also gained traction, and disagreements arose. But unlike John and Kate, they had a written agreement to fall back on. They referred to the document, which clearly outlined their agreed-upon responsibilities and profit splits. The disagreement was swiftly resolved, their relationship remained intact, and their business continued to thrive. This isn't a hypothetical scenario, it's the real-life case of a tech startup in Silicon Valley. The founders who prefer to remain anonymous credit their written agreement for saving not just their business, but their friendship as well. They understood that while trust is vital, it's only human to remember things differently, especially when stakes are high. Now you might wonder, why bother with a written agreement? It's just more paperwork. But consider this. Written agreements bring clarity, prevent misunderstandings, and can be legally binding. They are not about mistrust or pessimism. They are about foresight, about understanding that even the best relationships can be strained, especially in business. Written agreements can be as simple or as complex as the situation demands. They can be a formal contract drafted by a lawyer or a simple letter of agreement that outlines the terms in clear language. The key is to make sure it's comprehensive, covering all relevant aspects and scenarios. So, next time you're entering into an agreement, whether it's for business, renting a home, or even loaning money to a friend, remember John and Kate's story, remember Emily and Alex's story, and choose the path of clarity and foresight. Opt for a written agreement. It might take a little extra time and effort now, but it could save you a world of trouble down the line. In our journey through the importance of written agreements, we've come across some key vocabulary that will not only help you understand this topic better, but also enhance your language skills. So let's recap and expand on these words. One, agreement, a mutual understanding between two or more parties. For example, they had an agreement to split the profits equally. One, verbal, relating to or in the form of words. For example, the verbal agreement seemed good at first, but it led to misunderstandings later. 1. Written. Something that is expressed in writing. For example, a written agreement is more reliable than a verbal one. 1. Clarity. The quality of being clear and easy to understand. For example, the written agreement provided clarity on their roles and responsibilities. 1. Foresight. The ability to predict or plan for the future. For example, their foresight to get a written agreement saved them from a potential dispute. 1. Misunderstanding. A failure to understand something correctly. For example, the verbal agreement led to a misunderstanding about profit splits. 1. Dispute. A disagreement or argument. For example, without a written agreement, they ended up in a dispute. 1. Roles. The function assumed or part played by a person or thing. For example, the written agreement clearly defined their roles in the project. 1. Responsibilities. The state or fact of having a duty to deal with something. For example, their responsibilities were outlined in the written agreement. 1. Profit splits. The division of profits between parties. For example, the profit splits were detailed in the written agreement. For all the advanced students out there, I challenge you to create your own sentences using these vocabulary words. It'll be a great exercise to understand the concepts better and enhance your language skills.